It was born in the 40s and it was a hit instantly. It came to Indian shores twice. We've seen Bajaj and LML sell these Italian scooters by the lakhs. And even though it is a rare sight on Indian roads today, a strong bond still remains. And the Vespa is back. This time Piaggio has brought in the LX125. It's got all the classic coolness of the Vespa, but it has a few modern touches as well. Well, let's take a look to see what it's got. More than 60 years have passed since the Vespa's iconic design was first created. Simple, curvy and cute. The Vespa's appeal shines bright even today. Even younger viewers who haven't seen the older Vespa will agree that this is very attractive. True to the aerodynamic principles that guided the first Vespa, the LX sports smooth panels with screws and bolts tucked away. It makes it look sleek and at home in the iPhone generation. While some scooters in India offer telescopic shocks, the Vespa is coming in with single-sided front suspension that lets it show off the three-spoke alloy wheel better. The grille where the horn used to be is also there, but it's higher up. Chrome lining is used for the front apron, around the headlamp and many more places, but it doesn't seem garish. The instrument cluster has an analog speedometer and a fuel gauge. And surprisingly, it sports a plain digital clock. Like the original, the LX is also built around a monocoque chassis, which is why the floorboard has a step in it. There are many nice touches, like the rubber ribs, which are used in place of foot mats. There's the retractable luggage hook under the seat, the glove box to store small odds and ends, and bigger stuff can be stored under the seat. The saddle offers a nice and wide seat for the rider and pillion. I really love how the Vespa has held on to its roots. Distinctive front, that wasp tail, that step floorboard with the ribs there. Everything is just right out of the history books, but yet it feels so modern. I mean, the design has been tweaked so that it's cleaner, neater, it just feels tighter as well. At the same time, it's using a lot of plastics, whereas earlier scooters used to use metal panels all around. So this is a classic design adapted beautifully and feels very confident in the modern world. But now let's see how the LX125, how does it feel out on Indian roads? For the Indian market, the LX125 has a new carbureted 125cc four-stroke motor. This made in Baramati engine develops 10 bhp of power and 1 kilogram of torque. All that power and torque is then channelized via a CVT box to the 10-inch wheel. Stacked against the clock, the LX hits the 60 km hour mark in 10 seconds, which is slower than Suzuki's Axis. But the Vespa's top speed of 94 km per hour is class leading. In city traffic, the Vespa will offer little reason for complaint, as the motor is quite responsive and darts ahead when you tell it to. Threading through city streets will be made easier by the light and easy steering too. Our shoot took us to the open roads. Here, the LX125 proved to be reasonably comfortable around bends. It leaned calmly into corners only to have the main stand scrape right away. A front disc brake was sorely missed, especially since the front drum brake was so unresponsive. The LX125 also delivers a surprisingly comfortable ride. The old-school single-sided front suspension and monoshock rear offer a nice supple ride which won't let broken roads jar you. So the LX125's performance won't send new benchmarks for a 125cc scooter. Nonetheless, it isn't dull. It feels quite peppy and smooth to ride. On top of that, the suspension offers a good ride quality so it deals well with city roads and it's agile too. So it's a great tool for the city. But the big question remains, how heavy is this thing going to be on your wallet? Piaggio has designed this 125cc scooter keeping the Indian market in mind. This means fuel efficiency has to be good. In our fuel runs, the Italian scooter proved that it has a thrifty Indian nature. The LX125 returned a strong 40 km per litre in the city and an impressive 42 km per litre out on the highway. Those are good numbers for a 125cc scooter. So, what's the catch? As a scooter, the Vespa LX125 is an outstanding. Ergonomics and ride quality is good. Performance is decent, while fuel efficiency 
is definitely a highlight. It all combines to make it a pretty good ride, although I could do with a better, sharper front brake. But what really makes this outstanding is its chic Italian styling. It makes the scooter stand out in a parking lot full of two-wheelers from a mile away. But this comes at a heavy premium. 20,000 rupees more over a 125cc scooter will take the sheen of the LX125 for most people. As for the rest, the Vespa LX125 isn't just a scooter. It's the symbol of super cool.